Hello and welcome to Gina Moon. This is your weekly tarot reading. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and take a look at your dominant energy, which is basically the energy that's influencing your entire reading. I'm also going to take a look at your past, present, future, what's in your challenge position, how to overcome that challenge, what's coming towards you, who's coming towards you, and so much more. So let's go ahead and dive right in. And I have partnered with Psychic Source so that you can receive 10 minutes for only $10 and an additional three minutes for free. I'm not the one doing the readings on Psychic Source, but you can choose any psychic of your choice. You can choose to either talk to them online or call them. Make sure to use my special discount code 26489 at checkout. The link to my Psychic Source partnership is down in the description box below. Remember, it's a general reading, so take it as a resonance. It could be you towards somebody, somebody here towards you. So if you feel the need to reverse the roles, go ahead and do so. Also, this can be for your sun, your moon rising, or your Venus placement. So if those positions are dominant in your chart, please make sure to check those positions out as well as those might actually resonate more with you than this one. All right, so you are starting with the dominant energy of the drum roll. You have here the number nine and it says darkest fears, okay? So here, as you can see, there is the number nine up above and also it says darkest fears. There's a man here and there are moons. There's like the moon phases all around his mind. So you might be kind of feeling a little bit overcome by some kind of fear, okay? And I do sense that there is some kind of fear here that you need to either confront or start kind of, you know, um, working on okay because here with darkest fears it's almost as if somebody here is expecting the worst case scenario okay you might be unintentionally creating this okay based on your belief systems your fears your insecurities that sort of thing we're gonna see what this is all about because i do see that if you confront this fear or these fears you will succeed. Let's see what this is all about here for you. All right, so here you have the chariot. Yeah, con confrontation. This is all about having that energy of courage, tenacity to confront situations that perhaps right now you are kind of, you know, silent, you know, in or within. You haven't said anything. You haven't really faced the truth of a situation, whatever this is for you. But at the bottom of the deck, I see here the seven of swords reverse. Yeah, so some kind of energy here of you uncovering the truth. The truth will be revealed. Somebody here who has been lying, who has not been quite honest with you or with themselves needs to come out into the open and it will come out into the open. I see that you're going to find out about some information. Okay, some information will come to the light. And again, there is some kind of energy here where justice will be served, some kind of justice that perhaps if wherever in your life there has been an imbalance, okay, justice will be served in this situation. Now, I also see here the chair it could be cancer energy for some. For others of you guys, this is all about you choosing, okay? Choosing which direction do you want to go into, as you can see, okay, there are two lines here. One of them is this black line, another one is a white line. And so here with the chariot, you know, the chariot is being guided by these two, these two elements, okay? And so uh, there's that energy where you need to confront a situation for what it is. You have to have that courage, the strength, the tenacity, and you will win. You will win whatever this is here for you, okay? But this is all about no longer denying what needs to be uh, confronted, okay? Also here in your challenge position, I see judgment. So in your challenge position, it's gonna be a little bit challenging for you to learn a karmic lesson, okay? Again, there's something here where the your guides, your angels are going to kind of, you know, send out a calling, send out a message, send out some kind of a symbol, okay? And I do sense that it might not be easy for you to either accept this, okay? Or it could also be the energy of you not wanting a reconciliation with somebody from your past, okay? If this is not related to anybody from your past, it simply means that it's gonna be challenging for you to learn some kind of a karmic lesson. And part of that karmic lesson is how to confront and how to face your fears instead of, running away from them, okay? Or letting your fears take over you. Also here with the nine of pentacles, what you desire is stability. I'm also seeing here that what you desire is to be self-reliant. You want to explore more of the energy of your independence. I do sense that 
You either want more, more money, you want to make more money, or you want to enjoy the fruits of your labor. For some of you guys, this is all about you desiring to take a vacation. You desire to spend some time on your own. You desire to take yourself on a spa, on a trip, on a vacation. You want more, you know, that energy of luxury, okay? You want to be around that energy of you feeling loved, cared for, appreciated. But it's something here that you want to do for yourself, okay? So you do desire that energy for some of you guys. For others, it could also be the energy of you wanting to be single. Maybe you've been in a relationship for quite a while, and it's the energy of you wanting to spend time on your own. Now, here with the Page of Pentacles, the root of the issue, however, is the fact that you're not really doing anything about the situation. You're not making an offer. You're not really taking action towards whatever it is that you want to create, okay? I do sense that right now the root of the issue has to do with you planning something. Maybe you want to, you know, you want more money, but you're not really strategizing to get that more money. You're not really planning ahead. So this is all about baby steps, okay? I do sense that the root of the issue, like I said, is right now you need to learn how to plan for the future. Also, the energy of strategizing, creating some kind of strategy to get to where you want to be. In the recent past, I do see here that you had a lot of options. You had a lot of, you know, energy here uh, where you needed to make a decision. Okay. Perhaps some of you guys were very distracted as far as what decision to make because you guys were overwhelmed with having a lot of options. For others of you, I do see that in the recent past, there was some kind of a burden that you placed in the middle of the solution and yourself because perhaps you didn't feel ready to resolve this. And so you kind of wanted to distract yourself on purpose. This is also distractions. It could also be that in the recent past, you distracted yourself on purpose, doing a lot of things at once, and you ended up kind of, you know, feeling a little bit lost in some kind of way, okay? Coming towards you is you leaving the past behind, okay? it's gonna, There's going to be coming an opportunity very soon, okay? An opportunity will be coming towards you in order to heal, in order to grow, in order to leave this betrayal. Somebody here who might have lied, who might have cheated, okay, who betrayed you, who made you feel like, you know, maybe you lost it all, but that's something here that is already done and over with. There is going to be an opportunity for you to learn from the past and leave it behind you. Also, I do see that in your subconsciousness, you want to work something out. There's something here where you want to work something out with a person or the situation. You want something to work, okay? But I do see that it's going to be challenging for you to learn some kind of a lesson because there's still another part of you that is not sure whether you want a reconciliation. Okay. So let's see. You also have here the two of cups, which is basically how somebody sees you. So somebody here around you sees you as their soulmate. They see you as a soulmate union, as a soulmate connection. This person feels a very strong bond with you that they have never felt before. They feel like it's an undeniable union. Okay. Now also I do see here, look at that, your action advice to lovers. You're going to have to make a choice. You're going to have to make a decision, confront the situation once and for all. This is about your future, making a decision regarding love for some family members, friends, for others, it could be career related, making a decision about what you really want in life. Okay masculine feminine energies coming together as one. It could also be you thinking about a project, a passion project that you want to pursue. Whether you want to pursue it or not, you have to make a decision. It's coming in. If you are dealing with love, your action advice is to go towards love. Okay. This is all about opening up your heart again. Now I do see that if you do that, there is going to be some kind of an energy where for the time being, some of you guys will have to drop all of those distractions, okay? If you want to focus in on love and you want to create something beautiful out of this connection, you're going to have to focus in on the connection itself and drop a lot of distractions. Whether there's a third party situation, whether you're not sure, you know, that sort of thing. This is all about dropping distractions that don't serve you, okay? In order to get what you really want. Now let's go ahead and see why Darkest Fears is here. Why is Darkest Fears here as your dominant energy? And you have here the strength as well as the devil. And you have the five of pentacles at the bottom here, the six of wands. Yeah, success. You will succeed if you confront 
some kind of a toxic cycle, toxic union. It could also be an addiction. This could be as simple as an addiction. Maybe your darkest fear is to release something that perhaps you know is no longer working for you. Also here, this could be tied into some kind of energy here where maybe you don't feel good enough, okay? You feel neglected, you feel pushed to the side, and that's the reason why you've taken on the burden of involving yourself with a situation that you know is not appreciating you. But this is strength coming in for you. You're going to have the strength, the courage in order to confront the situation and choose better. Okay. Now I do see that this strength coming in, if you again, confront the situation for what it is, you will succeed. You will succeed and you will meet a new person here. This new person will be gravitated towards you. This individual wants to show you how much they care, you know, that energy of showing you warm spirited, you know, nature, that sort of thing. But I do see that there's going to be some kind of decision that you're going to have to make very, very soon. We're going to go deeper into the situation in the extended. So if you want to learn more about who this person is coming in, okay, more so about their deeper thoughts about you, their deeper feelings, emotions for you, their next moves, actions towards you, how this entire situation will all develop for you, what's going to be the final result, and any messages from spirit. We're going to go into that in the extended, and the link to the extended is down in the description box below. In the extended reading, I go into the other person's subconsciousness, their deeper thoughts about you, their deeper feelings for you, their next actions, moves, and more. And thank you all so, so much for all of your positive feedback for the extended reading. I am so glad that you guys are loving the extended reading so much. So again, if you want to check out the link to the extended, Ended. The link is down in the description box below. And I have partnered with Psychic Soar so that you can receive 10 minutes for only $10 and an additional three minutes for free. I'm not the one doing the readings on Psychic Source, but you can choose any psychic of your choice. You can choose to either talk to them online or call them. Make sure to use my special discount code 26489 at checkout. The link to my Psychic Source partnership is down in the description box below. And check out my website at ginamoon.com. Click on shop. I do have new jewelry pieces, rings, bracelets, crystals, necklaces, and so much more for both men and women. So check that out at ginamoon.com and click on shop and follow me on Instagram at ginamoonofficial as I will be posting more on there.